Okay, in the last video, we saw an op-amp in the inverting amplifier configuration. So let's take a look at an op-amp that's wired a little differently. Again, if you take a look at this particular op-amp, you do see that it has negative feedback it's because there's a resistor RF between the output node and the negative uh, or the inverting terminal of the op-amp. Okay, so that's why it's called a negative feedback. So, however, in this particular case, the voltage in is supplied to the positive side. Uh, feedback still is in the negative side, and there's a resistor R1 uh, right here also on towards the negative terminal uh, of the op-amp. So the goal is to figure out what is V out with respect to V in and the uh, resistors R1 and RF. Okay, so just like uh, before, let's start out by making an assumption that this is an ideal op-amp. This is an ideal op-amp that means the current going into the terminal, these terminals right here, that's equal to zero. The current going into the terminal is equal to zero. It also means that the voltage at node V plus and the voltage at node V minus are identical. So V plus equals V minus. Right. In this particular case, again, we need before we start out uh, doing analysis on any nodes, we need to choose a reference node. So let's pick a reference node again at the bottom of the screen of the circuit right there, and we'll call that ground node. So that node, uh, we'll call it ground. Now, if that particular node is ground, then because of this voltage source right here, which has a voltage drop of V in, this particular line right here is at voltage V in. So that means V plus, this circuit node V plus is equal to V in. Now since V plus is equal to V minus because of the ideal op amp, V minus node, this particular node is also at voltage V in. Okay, so that's what we start out with first. Now having had uh, the different voltages at different nodes, so that means this voltage node and that voltage node are the same node, so that's V in. Okay. Now let's start out by drawing arbitrary directions of current. So let me just draw current that way and that way. Okay, I'll call this I1. I'll call this I2. Now let's do a Kirchhoff's current law at right at that node. At that node, the total amount of current coming in must equal total amount of current going out. If you look at carefully at that node, there is no real current going into that node because all the currents I1 and I2 that are left there are going out of that node. And of course, there's one more current that's going into the negative terminal. And, and we said, based on the ideal op-amp configuration, uh, I uh, going into the negative terminal is equal to zero. So in other words, the only currents coming out of that node are I1 and I2 are coming out of the node. What is the total current going into the node? There's none, so that's equal to zero. Okay, so now that we have the currents all set up, uh, currents set up, we'll use Ohm's law, uh, Ohm's law, and set up the voltages based on the direction of the currents we pick. Now let's take a look at I1. I1 flows from V in towards ground through resistor R1. So Ohm's law says I1 is equal to voltage drop V in minus zero. So the voltage drop across resistor R1 divided by R1 plus now I2 is going from V in towards this node called V out. So V in minus V out divided by RF and that is all equal to zero. Okay so uh, now let's uh, rearrange terms here and we get V in R1 plus V in RF minus V out over RF is equal to zero. Now, so all, all we did was take V in over RF minus V out over RF. Now, if I simplify this further and take V out on the right hand side, we get V in uh, over R1 plus V in over RF equals V out over RF. Let's multiply both sides by RF so we get R1 plus V in over RF 
equals RF times V out over RF. So we're multiplying both sides by RF. Uh, so that means we get this RF cancels with this RF. Therefore, V out equals uh, RF over R1 V in plus RF divided by RF. So that's 1 again and simply V in. Uh, so we can rewrite this as RF over R1 plus 1 V in. So we have V out equals RF over R1 plus 1 times V in. Now, if you take a look at this again, the output voltage V out, so output voltage at this node V out, is equal to the ratio of the resistors RF and R1 just like before RF and R1 and again when we do the resistor radios, ratios the feedback resistor is always greater than or equal to R1 uh, plus 1 so in this case the gain is just not not just the ratio like we had seen previously in the inverting amplifier case the gain is the ratio of the resistors feedback over the input resistor plus 1 and again, if you look at that carefully, there's no negative sign. So the voltage polarity of V out and the voltage polarity of V in are going to be the same. So again, let's assume that RF equals 10 kilo ohms. So if this is 10 kilo ohms and R1 is 1 kilo ohm, so RF over R1, that's a ratio of 10 to 1, so that's 10, plus 1, so that's 11. So the total gain here is 11. So V out would be 11 times V in. So if V in was 1 volt, V out would be equal to 11 times 1 equals 11 volts. In this case, both V out and V in have the positive polarity. Otherwise, in other words, the polarity of the output voltage is the same as the polarity of the in, in polarity of the input voltage. Because of this, this particular op amp configuration that we saw here is called called the non-inverting. non-inverting amplifier configuration okay so that's uh, the non-inverting amplifier uh, configuration all right so again uh, just a quick recap here now so the non-inverting amplifier um, I drew it in uh, this fashion but sometimes uh, you'll also see the exact same thing drawn slightly differently so all you'll you'll see is minus side on the top and plus uh, on the bottom of the op amp Negative feedback basically means the feedback is to the negative terminal from the output terminal. So this is V out. Okay. The positive side in this particular case, so if you look at this, the positive side is the one with the V in. So you will have plus minus, let's say, V in. Uh, the negative side had a feedback resistor, so that's RF. And there is a resistor r1 that goes to ground so sometimes you'll also see commonly drawn in this particular order uh, it's basically this exact same circuit drawn this way uh, so regardless of uh, how it's drawn uh, a non-inverting amplifier has voltage on the non-inverting end input uh, and the feedback back on the negative uh, inverting uh, end